Hello there YouTube, Tech Savage Pro here, and today I'm going to be giving you my full jailbreak video. This is going to show all of my tweaks on my device, or on my iPhone XR at least. So, yeah, let's get straight into it. So the reason that I'm not currently jailbroken is because once I do jailbreak, I want to show you one of the tweaks that I've already uh, set up, which will be easiest to show once I actually activate the jailbreak. It is called GIFNM, I believe, and or GIFNM, and basically it takes the Respring logo and it will replace it with any GIF that you would like. So, this is my custom logo. Um, if you've been watching the channel for a while, you'll remember this, but if you haven't, then this is for the oldies. But, yeah, it's very nice, especially with a red phone, it matches it quite nicely, but yeah. So, I have my custom Respring logo. The second thing that I want to talk about is Zen HTML. Now, I am going to be leaving all of the sources that I have for Cilio and for Cydia in the description below. So, the reason that uh, I'm telling you that is this means that you're going to have to open this video in Safari, copy the all of the... Um, sources and then paste them so yeah but another one is called cylinder if you haven't heard of this not sure what you're doing with a jailbreak but yeah this basically is like a, usually people are pretty hyped to install cylinder because i mean it completely redefines the os it's basically like a highlight of a jailbreak in a way so another thing is better settings. So if I go over here, this basically takes my settings and redefines them. A part of this jailbreak setup is from the last video. So the five stupid tweaks that I showed you are still here. My ringer is just off. But yeah, so another one is called clean player. And another one is called Bozzy. So Bozzy is this up here. If you if you look, uh, I have battery percent 10. So this basically just lets me, uh, instead of having to swipe down to see the control um, center battery like you do on stock iOS for iOS, iPhone 10s, then... I don't have to do that. Another thing that I like is bubbles. So if I go into uh, my messages here, I have a nice little layout. Also have nude keys, and this is bar emoji. Very, very nice. I love the subtle layout. I also have Eclipse for iOS, Eclipse dark mode, clean player, and clean home screen. This allows me to have no labels, and what you're seeing right here, the clear photo or the clear folders, are actually, it's actually called boulders. So it rearranges your your folders. So if you look, I have this nice bold uh, kind of label, and it tells me how many apps that I have in that folder, which is something that I feel that iOS should do anyways. Really, really like the, the nice, clean um, kind of layout that I have. But another uh, tweak that I have is called Notifica. So if you look, I have custom little notifications. And the Zen HTML toggle that I have on is called Glitched. Again, repos will be in the description below. So, yeah. Another tweak is called Bezon, which basically, whenever I charge my phone, I don't have a charger with me right now, but basically it will have a very new sound effect. So I can make it sound like Pikachu, or I can make it sound like something completely different. Um, yeah. So another one is Clean Player. I already said that, but basically. It redefines the music player. So if I go over to the beloved uh, Music Mate and I go ahead and I just play. 
while I'm at it. Alright, so if you look, now this is actually Mistusa Infinity, I believe, XI, or 11, but if you look, it goes a, a really, really well with the, um, the lock screen, and you have this clear kind of layout. The only issue that I have with this is that it's kind of taken up by another tweak, but yeah so I haven't really said anything about it but I have animations be fast or speed intensifier but basically this just speeds up everything in the OS so if you notice I don't have any animations whatsoever very very nice another very very lovely tweak is called gasolina basically this saves you a lot of battery whenever you jailbreak. Now, this isn't necessary all the time, but if you do have tweaks like, for example, if you have Zen HTML, it will tend to take up a little bit more battery than usual. And so basically this will trick the, the OS into force low power mode, but it doesn't like activate a low power mode. Like if you look, low power mode isn't on in my um notification center so yeah it's very very cool i also have mission control so basically if you look right here i can just hold and i can be on twitter in another app so i'm in settings and i was in twitter very very cool another one that i have is cc linker this is kind of taken from android but basically if i go over here hold this I can go to my cellular and I can hold it down and it will directly drop me into that setting page. Very, very cool. Now I don't know if I've actually talked about this one or not, but I uh, have Chromagram, which I can't really show you, I can try, but I actually got banned from Instagram. Um, but if you look, Instagram is completely redesigned. Um, it's not really showing up on camera well, but see, there we go. Um, but you can see that it's completely redesigned. So yeah, very, very cool. Thought that I'd share that. So I have a few more to show you. I have haptic keys and gift to any. That was the first one that I showed you. Haptic keys is a very, very nice one. But before I show you that one, let me just talk about a few more. This is high dock. Now, if I do actually go ahead and I toggle it, nothing is going to happen because I'm not going to respring it. But if I did want to, if I did want to, it would just get rid of this dock, give a very, very clean look. <laughs> so, yeah. And then I have haptic keys, which goes very very nice with some other tweaks like nude keys this is what we have going on with the nice gradient we have bar emoji at the bottom which is very very nice to have you know if you just want to get access to all your emojis at the bottom now of course this does work with other phones but it works best with the the newer phones like the iPhone 10R things like that but i kind of i really really enjoy it because it's it's 100% fire. Of course, battery percent X or battery percent 10 is a must for iPhone 10. And then you have haptic keys like I was talking about. It gives the the haptic feedback like you would get on Android, but since there are a lot more powerful haptics in an iPhone, Usually, um, with the exception of like an LG or a Samsung, then yeah, most powerful out there besides them too. So you get that lovely Android feel on the iOS. Very, very nice. But we have High Jailbreak or High JB, which this doesn't work in every app, but it does work in a lot. And actually, a lot of, um, apps aren't jailbreak detected like they used to be but 
for example, I can't actually show you because I'm jailbroken, but the newly released Dr. Mario is not playable with a jailbreak, or at least not a Chimera jailbreak as of right now. Now, I'm sure later on there will be jailbreak bypass, but High Joe JB is not capable of bypassing that. Another lovely um, tweak that I have, which is not enabled, is Jellyfish and Jellyfish Custom. Jellyfish is a tweak that basically gives you basically gives you this kind of layout, which I do actually have a Jellyfish uh, underlaid. It's under there, but yeah, so it's very very cool. Zen HTML is actually an overlay, so if you were to remove the time completely, then Zen HTML would uh, be a flawless tweak on its own, but yeah. So you can toggle a whole bunch of settings and Jellyfish, and then Jellyfish Custom basically just gives you a whole lot more settings on basically the size of it and so on. Another lovely tweak is Local APS Store. This basically allows you to get free stuff. You have Magma and Melanor. Melanor. Um, Melior is this right here. The No Volume HUD. Basically, uh, Magma is this right here. We can change a lot about the, the uh, control center. And I did talk about Notifica. Notifica. It um, changes the look of your notifications. Very, very nice. Now, Reed redefines the, the music player as well. Gives you more options there. Nougat is the Android version of the control center. I like to have both control centers because sometimes you just want a different look. And you have a lot of different options. Like, nice, quick touch uh, flashlight. Really, 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 really like it. You have the the good old mobile data. It's just a very simple, it's not too busy looking, very nice. We have Mitsusha Infinity, which I've already showed you that. That's the music thing. We have Relocate, Power Module. And Power Module is basically this right here. Respring, all of that in the control center. And Small Siri, basically. Hey Siri. So, at the bottom of the screen, YouTube tools, very, very necessary for um, constant YouTube watchers, but gives you more access to that application. You can download videos and everything else. Relocate basically allows you to change your location to any place you want, and it's very, very cool. MISC settings allows you to do basically anything that you want, and... I was as I was saying magma allows me to change the color of this stuff so yeah lastly I want to show you the jailbreak apps that I have I have reprovision which basically this stops anything from being revoked anytime so all of these never ever revoked um, along with Lazarus gelled that will never ever be revoked if you look at my actual jailbreak 284 days and 24 hours left and along with some of the other ones like Kodo movies 305 days that's almost a whole year compared to the other ones so very cool I have an app that lets me save blobs instantly very cool so you can click that saves my blobs very 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 nice love it it's a life saver very very cool so yeah so I have those I have the relocate app which if you do download relocate you do want to get this app it saves you a lot of hassle obviously I have Cydia nothing can replace Cydia and I want to show you this app last but I have terminal terminal is a lovely lovely app I like to use it to troll people but it's super super good because you have all of these commands now a lot of them you'll never use, but like some to get Cilio on Uncover, you do have to use the terminal, so it's very very nice to have. Now 
I want to show you my themes. I have Felicity, Lotus, Icon Mask, which basically, after I show you my other one, I'll show you what that does. I have the SA Icon Mask, which if you kind of see how like they're bowed out a little, that's what that is. It's not doing it for all of them, but it is doing it for a good majority. Now, I am actually going to change my theme because it's very nice to change it up a little. But I'm going to enable Circus. So if you look, very, very cool. And then if I enable the, I'm going to do the Apple, it does that. So we can do this. And then it will save and we will have a completely redesigned phone. So for some reason, the icons didn't change. Um, but my notifications are actually Apple. So if you look, which I actually personally don't have a problem with that. Um, usually it does change, but yeah. Now, the last ones that I'm going to show you is Falza. This is a must-have for jailbreakers, but you can really, really discover the, um, the OS. Do not, and I repeat, do not mess with this if you do not know what you're doing. You will seriously mess up your phone. Like, I'm not even kidding. Um, as you can tell, it was starting to change, and then I killed the app, but yeah. Now, another app that I want to show you is I have AppCake Get basically any app for free. I have iWeb Pro. This is a Wi-Fi analyzing tool. It's kind of illegal, but let's not discuss that. I have Ink Control, which I pirated, but let's not discuss that either. Um, obviously, I have Falza, which can be really, really useful if you have like malicious files that won't delete on themselves. Like through Cilio or something. And then lastly, I have the greatest app in the world. It is an eye cleaner. So we can do clean and it will clean our OS for us. Now it's not going to really delete anything that you care about. It's going to mainly, it's going to go for catched files, things that you don't need in your life, basically, which this doesn't include like pictures. I mean, if you want it to delete like duplicate pictures, it can it's it's a very useful useful tool and then i have a few more i have voice changer xs which is a pirated tweak i believe but you can use it getting the sources that are in the description below i have spring to Mize, and i have shuffle which shuffle goes hand in hand with boulder so shuffle is what allows you to get this like customized kind of like shuffle with your app icons but that probably makes zero sense. Very sorry. But yeah, uh, you have Safari Plus, which allows you to have full-on dark mode. You can actually, I have it set up to where if I go to a website and let's say I click on a different site, it won't actually open. It'll open in a different tab because I like to spam open a bunch of stuff at one time. So that's very cool. Yeah, and then you have Sarith, or Sareth, and this is why I have the classic iOS, like, 6 wallpaper, the grass one. I think it looks quite nice, along with the S8, S8 edges, but yeah, that is pretty much my jailbreak setup, other than a few ones that I haven't talked about, like Spring to Mize. This uh, goes hand-in-hand hand with a few of, obviously, you can tell, animations, app switcher, you can basically do everything in here. This is like a $5 tweak, but I did pirate it. So yeah, very, very nice. Very cool. Love it. It's very great. But it's one of those tweaks that are very subtle. It's very nice. Hope that you did like this video. If you did, please leave a like, subscribe, comment. And as always, peace out, and I'll see you in the next one. Love you.